This is Quick Tricks, an add-on created with AI that helps Blender artists speed up their workflows with functionalities inspired by Maya. This add-on allows you to manage objects with ease, modify mesh properties after changing their position, rotation snapping, and instant keyframing. Let me show you how it works. So I have Blender 4.0 loaded up right here. I'm gonna show you how to install the add-on. So if you go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, right here, you can say Install. Then navigate to the folder where the zip file is located. You click it, and you say Install Add-on. Now it'll come up here, and it'll say Quick Tricks. Check the box, and you're ready to go. As you can see, there's a lot of different options here. I'm gonna show you all about it. So this part is recorded after editing the video. I made some changes, and the keyframe toggle is now Viewport Keyframe Toggle for V1 of the add-on. So how it works is before, if you went and insert a keyframe in the viewport, it wouldn't be able to work. But now with viewport keyframe toggle turned on, now when you press I, which is a standard you know, default um, Blender hotkey for insert keyframing, then when you press I, it inserts the keyframe for the location, rotation, and scale. So now when I move it over to you know a different frame, I hit grab and I press I, it works. Then when you toggle it off, when you move the cube over and you insert, it doesn't happen. So if you want to be able to keyframe in the viewport, you would have this toggle turned on. Next thing I wanna show you are the object functions. So let's say I have a cylinder here, and let's say a torus. And let's say I wanted to group these three together. So I would just select it and say group objects. Now before you'd probably have to create a plane axis, select all of these and parent, but this just does it all in one button. Okay, let's say I want this you know, plane axis to be on like a vertex of a cube. So you come up here to Options, which is built into Blender itself, and you just want to select Parents. So now, when I have the magnet on, and then go to Vertex, it'll automatically snap to whatever vertex I want. And then un undo that, and there you have it. It's right there. Now let's say you want this duplicated, right? Now in Maya, when you duplicate it, it just duplicates the entire thing. And I wanted that same thing in Blender as well. And in that, it just duplicate right here. So when you duplicate it, it automatically does it, and there you have it. Now let's say if you have a really complex group or whatever, and you want to select the main parent control of that group, you can also just select one of the child objects here and say select group from object, and that'll instantly select the parent control. Now let's say you want to delete the group. So when you manually create a group with a plane axis and you delete the plane axis, what happens is that the two child objects are still there. I didn't want that. So to delete the group, you just hit delete and then it all deletes and you're good to go. Now these functions all create primitive meshes, but also allow them to be edited when moved around, right? So for example, if I were to create a cylinder right now with 16 vertices around it, it creates it, right? But if I move it around, notice that in the bottom here, it always it's automatically switches to like rotate or move or whatever I have it set at, right? let's say I actually wanted this to have 12. Well, I just, just type in 12 and I hit update and it updates it immediately. Let's say I want it to be 20. That same thing, update. Also for the cone here, if you needed to make a cone, then you can, and then you can just do like 18 verts. And then also with the base fill type, you can choose Ngon, nothing, or triangle fan, any of those, right? So it will, you know, work like that. So this is the rotate snap. So when you have your mesh selected, you can you know, instantly just snap the, uh, the rotation however you want across any axis. That's Blender Quick Tricks. I really hope this helps you out with your workflows. Available now on brightfuture3d.com. You can click the links below to learn more about it or you can buy it now. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions down below.